Hey folks, Sunny South. Hope everybody doing real good. Port belly burn-ins on the menu this afternoon. I like to call this bacon candy. We got a three and a half pound slab of skinless pork belly. We're going to get this cubed up here in a few minutes, get a nice dry rub on it. And this is going to be a three-part process. And it may sound complicated, but it's not. This is one of the easiest smokes you can possibly do. You really can't mess this up. It's just too forgiving. First process is just getting this out on the smoker with some cherry wood for about three hours and let it pick up good smoke. Let the rub really just uh, get into the pork real good. Then we're going to pull it off, get it in a pan, get it wrapped, and we're going to build some uh, sweet candy flavor. We've got some apple juice and brown sugar. I've got some uh, honey hickory barbecue sauce, a little bit more honey. We're going to throw a little bit more dry rub into the braising liquid. Let it braise for about an hour and a half, two hours until... All that fat is really rendered out of this pork and it's real nice and tender. Then we're going to pull it out of the braising pan, get it back on the rack, and just kind of let it pick up some more bark, get the color right on it for about 15 to 30 minutes. When these pork belly burn-ins are completely done cooking, we're going to pull some of that braising liquid out and make a little bit of a gravy. We're going to serve these over some uh, creamy, cheesy grits. And we'll have a little bit of a gravy we're going to put together to go with that. It's kind of like a nice uh, gravy barbecue sauce, I guess you could say. Let's get to cooking. The first thing we're going to do on this beautiful pork belly is we're going to get it cubed up into one to one and a half inch cubes. We got a pork belly cubed up pretty good. I'm gonna go in here and spray this with a little oil so that the dry rub sticks. Some of this regular old stuff I use all the time. It's just a, a basic barbecue pork rub. We'll use a little bit of this uh, Paul Crude Homes uh, barbecue magic. What makes these pork belly burn in so good is obviously you get a lot of savory out of the pork. And then some sweetness from the uh, brown sugar, the apple juice, and the honey we're going to put in here. And then also you get some spice from your dry rub. And then this... It's got a good bit of spice in it as well. Get all these turned over. We're going to get a little bit of rub on the, the fat side as well. Get some of this magic seasoning on this back side. It's got a lot of paprika in it, so it's going to give us a real nice color. Of course, that cherry wood's going to help as well. Hopefully, these turn out kind of reddish looking. All right, we're going to get these on a the rack and get them out here on the smoker. All right, that's your pork belly cubes seasoned up real nice. We're going to get that out on the smoker. All right, we're up to 275, and we want to try to keep about 275 through this smoke. Smoke a little in here. Put, put two chunks of cherry and one chunk of apple in here. We'll come back in about two hours and take a look at them. See y'all back shortly. Been on about two hours, 15 minutes. Let's take a look. We're still holding 275. 
Picking up some nice smoke. Looking pretty good for sure. We'll give these about another 45 minutes to smoke, and then we'll get them in a pan and get them brazen. If these been on here for about three hours, let's get them off, get them in the house, and get them in a pan. We got these smelling extra good. Now we set that rack off to the side. We're going to need that again here shortly. Let's get some apple juice in here. Let's drizzle a little honey on. Get a little bit of this barbecue sauce in here. Brown sugar. Looking pretty good for sure. Sprinkle a little bit more rub on here. This tightly wrapped up. We're going to get it back out on the smoker. Let these burn ends braise for about an hour and a half, two hours to nice and tender. Still right on the money, 275. That's why I love these Weber Smoky Mountains. You just set them and they tend to themselves for the most part. See y'all back shortly. Still 275. Take a piece of tea, see what they're doing. Get them tossed around here a little bit. They're pretty soft. I think they could use probably about another 30 minutes. That brazen liquid is going to work out real good for a little sauce to serve these with. It's going to be extra good. About 30 more minutes, see y'all back shortly. Alright, these have been kicking along here a little longer. Still 275. Nice and tender. Let's get them in the house and get that brazen liquid out of there. I tell you what, that is smelling right. We're going to set these back over on the rack. Drop them back out there on the smoker for about 15 minutes. Just let a little bark come back up on them real nice. Even though they look pretty darn good right here. We'll let them finish out. And in the meantime, we'll get them grits whooped up. We'll get this brazen liquid put together, some kind of little old sauce. Liquid gold right there. Liquid gold. Put 
little barbecue sauce in here. A few splashes of hot sauce. Need a little vinegar. If you don't want to add any heat, put you some apple cider vinegar in there. There's always several ways to accomplish the same thing. Give this a taste. Liquid gold. Outstanding. Sweet. Savory and just a touch spicy. Don't keep that warm. Let's get some grits kicking. All right, while we're waiting for those burn ends to finalize, we're gonna get some grits whooped up. We'll get two cups of chicken broth. Two cups of milk. We're gonna get a little garlic powder in here. About a half a teaspoon. Get a little black pepper in. Get a little salt in here. And let that come up to a light simmer and then we'll start whisking these grits in. Now we got that up to a little simmer. I'll go ahead and start whisking these grits in. And you want to make sure you whisk them in so you don't end up with clumps and lumps. We're going to reduce the heat to low, medium low. Put a lid on, let them cook there about five to seven minutes. These quick grits. See y'all back shortly. Give them a little stir. Give them a few more minutes. He's been going here about six, seven minutes. We'll go ahead and get us some cheese mixed in here. Make them extra good. Put a little paprika in here. Gonna go real good with that smoky pork belly. Burn in. Give them a taste of this. See what they're talking about. Pretty darn good. It's gonna keep them warm. All right, here's the burn ends. Nice and tender, beautiful color. Got a little bark built back up on them. Looking right. Let's get it plated. We're gonna get some grits on this plate. We'll get these burn ends set in. Oh, gonna be good. Some of this sauce on him. What I'm talking about. A little coleslaw. Mashed tater. Look how tender. Woo, gonna be good. Give that a hit. Regular folks approve. Outstanding. And that's it, folks. Pork belly burn ends. Sweet, savory, delish. Till next time. Peace.